super cool to me that there is nobody here. I may feel really differently when the sun goes down and I'm like, oh, who, who and what is out there? Who and what is out there? Black Rock Desert is one of the most remote areas in the world. You may know it as the famous home of Burning Man, but have you ever thought about what it looks like without anyone else around? I've never camped out there alone, and I was both intrigued and intimidated by the idea. The Black Rock Desert is over two hours from the nearest large town, Reno, spread across a thousand miles of wilderness. I mean, it was selected for Burning Man because of its remoteness and its magic. So here's the plan. The spot I've chosen is a dry, dusty lake bed devoid of any water or natural shelter. It's fair to say I'm camping in one of the most remote places in the US. I'll need to be totally self-sufficient, and it's really cold, so I'm prepping for that too. The desert can swing as much as 30 degrees from day to night, and it can be windy as well. Yeah, it's, it's windy, it's already cold. I don't have a fancy van, so meet Bruce. My setup is simple. I need a place to sleep. It's gonna be really cold, so I need something to keep me warm. I wanna make sure that I have plenty of water because it's the desert after all. And then it comes to the food. Whoa. I will probably have a bold awakening tomorrow indeed. Over the past year, this is easily the biggest upgrade to my camping kit. This jet boil, stupid expensive. However, it boils water so much quicker than any other system and you use way less fuel. Next, I pack up the food I made, not bothering with a shower. I will need a bucket for the bathroom because it's a sensitive area that I'm going to. This is definitely not my preferred way to go to the bathroom, but out there, it's the only way to do it. A whole bunch of photography equipment, Gotta have my tunes, and then I'm good to go. All right. I'm a bit nervous. I'll be honest. I, I get nervous before everything I do like this by myself because I just know I'm gonna be so remote, and I my biggest fear is like people because I'll be very vulnerable, just kind of out there alone. But the whole point is there's unlikely to really be anyone else out there either, and that's what I wanted, the solitude. So it's weird and creepy. We'll see what happens when it gets dark. And yet I want it at the same time. It's Playa, it's just a dried up lake bed with all this dust swirling around everywhere. Yeah, it's windy. <laughs> I don't think there's normally water collected here, which actually makes me really nervous for the playa because it does fill in with water sometimes. Okay, on one hand that would be so cool, but on the other, if it's muddy or impassable in any way, there's no camping that's going to be happening there tonight, so uh, I guess we'll see conditions when we arrive. to drive out to Black Rock City. This is where Burning Man takes place. Normally during that there's 80,000 people here so I probably will be totally alone out here tonight and <laughs> I'm just enjoying the beauty, the peace and quiet, hanging out in my little truck <laughs> and waiting for the sunset. I'm about to change. I brought some things with me to take pictures in because I actually am doing a little photo shoot out here. That's why I have makeup on for my big camping adventure. I'm doing a little behind the scenes on how I take my own photos as well. So that's another video you can watch that I'm going to shoot right now.
I'm just looking right now at Starwalk 2. This app tells me exactly where the Milky Way is gonna be. Right about there. I parked just so that I could like lay and watch it on my side. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> It's just so nice. I've had a really nice time so far just kind of running around taking pictures and I know it's not dark yet so I mean I can still see everything so nothing's creepy yet but right now I feel totally like this is fun. I'm having a really good time. It's super cool to me that there is nobody here. I may feel really differently when the sun goes down and I'm like oh who, who and what is out there but most people who drew drove in like drove off way that way or they left so it's just me right now, for as far as the eye can see. So we'll see what happens when it gets dark. But now the wind is really picking up. It's like moving the truck a little bit. It'll be fine. I think it'll die down when it gets dark. I used to challenge myself to get uncomfortable all the time, and I'm remembering the feeling of fear mixed with excitement. But solitude can be like a drug for me. I crave those moments under the stars, just me to build an impression of it colored by no one else. But I assume yeah, maybe you are not serious but sincere, that you are ready to wake up. So then, when you're in the way of waking up and finding out who you really are, what you do is what the whole universe is doing at the place you call here and now. You are something the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave is something that the whole ocean is doing. The real you is not a puppet which life pushes around. The real deep down you is the whole universe. Wow, it is so cold, but it really calmed down towards the morning and the sunrise is magical always, but out here it's like really something and that's what I come out here to see. The sunrise is the real event out here. The sunset sets behind mountains, but the sunrise just lights up the whole playa. It's so nice. <laughs> too cold to be doing anything with my hands. Ooh, coffee time. Much pressure with you watching me. I had this in Japan, it's genius. Well, I think I underestimated just how cold it was going to get, but <laughs> the sunrise made it all worth it. It was so pretty and I will never use baby wipes on my face again. Baby wipes straight to the face. <laughs> it's so beautiful out here. The sunrise reminded me of why I come. It's just insane every time and seeing it without people is really special. Want to do more solo traveling with me? I'm sure you'll love this video. Or if you didn't watch the photography behind the scenes one, watch that one next. See you soon.